everyone. Welcome to The Well-Educated Artist. Today, we are going to be trying to conquer the Nautilus pour. Nate Bright, who has a channel on YouTube, makes it look so easy, the Nautilus pour. Um, I've not found it to be so easy, so this is going to be my maybe fourth or fifth try trying to get this right. And I finally decided to use really, really thick paint, which he does suggest to use thick paint. And I'm actually using house paint for my white because I want it nice and thick. I want it to hold the shape of the Nautilus. And uh, we're gonna see if this actually works this time. Uh, sometimes they look so easy. You'll see a painting and it looks so easy to do. I've seen several people try this and it not come out quite as wonderful as Nate's does. So I'm gonna try a different formulation this time and see if my Nautilus pour comes out. I hope it does. I so want a Nautilus pour painting. Sometimes you go, I really want that painting. And uh, yeah, it turns into a total flop. Um, and that's the way it goes. I'm actually going to need a three or a five chambered cup. Now I have been trying with the five chambered cup and leaving the chambers free in between, but it's a kind of a short cup and I don't like it. So I'm gonna try to do a three chambered cup without the skips. Because my canvas today is a 12 by 12 and the colors that I'm gonna be using, this is actually an antique white house paint that I use to do blooms with. And see how thick that is? It's a mound on a mound on a mound. Well, that's what I'm going to use because I am so sick of things just you know, sloshing over the sides and it not holding its form. These are really, really thick, just acrylic paints. Um, you can see they're super, super thick. And this one is Thalo Blue. This one is Violet from Master's Touch, but I have mixed it with fluorescent pink from Liquitex. So it's kind of a, a more of a, has a pink cast to it. Just a little bit and this is just plain old violet so that's going to be my background color okay so i have marked the middle i just took a ruler and marked the middle you can do the string thing that people do i don't have any string up here so i am just marking it around in the middle and i'm going to go ahead and put my white in the middle see how thick that is very thick i'm just going to put a little bit i'm not going to go overboard with my white and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill my middle chamber with my white. And hopefully I don't run out. And then I'm going to also fill my blue and my violet, my reddish violet. Okay, there's my blue. And then I'm thinking maybe I need a little more white. Let me go ahead and fill my reddish violet up. Let me go ahead, I'm gonna get a little more white. Since it's house paint, I don't have to mix it. So that's a plus. Okay, I'm gonna finish filling up my white just to make sure I have just enough. I don't want that to have been a problem. Okay, now I'm going to put in my violet. I've gone ahead and painted the sides with the same color, just to make sure that they're painted. It just makes it easier, nothing shines through. Now this paint is supposed to hold your pour onto your canvas without going over it. So hopefully it will. Okay, so here is my sink strainer, drainer strainer. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it right in the middle and I've put the white down to hold and hopefully my white is not too thick. We'll just see. I just wanna see if how much thick paint matters. Notice that the middle part has been removed, which is something that Nate did, is he removed the middle little pull handle. He removed it, so I'm gonna sit that right in the middle. Okay, now here's where it gets more complicated. 
Okay, I'm gonna take my paint and my three chambered cup and I'm gonna go very slowly. I'm going to try to, I think slow matters. I saw someone do it really fast and it didn't come out very well. So I'm gonna go as slow as I can. I'm gonna start wide. Actually, and then I'm gonna get these little small circles as I travel very slowly. I'm gonna try to tighten my circles. Maybe slow down. It takes a lot of coordination that I do not have. Okay. It's already showing it's trying to be lopsided. <laughs> That's not a good thing. I'm gonna let it just sit for a minute, but I already see that we've got lopsided. So that's not a good thing necessarily. You can see where the paint is pushing outward, which is a good thing. How do I know this is a bad thing to do? To recenter it. My Nautilus is gonna be janky. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a spin while this is on the canvas. Okay, yeah. My canvas is not straight. It's wanting to go bye-bye. Let's get that paint off of there. Move it over just a little. Try not to hit too much. Let's see if I can't get that to go where it's supposed to go. Okay, it's starting to get even out just a little bit. Now I'm going to try to pull. Just a second, I'm gonna. I'm gonna pull this up. Putting that down in some water, that way my, it'll clean a little bit easier later. Looks like I may have drugged that. Fix the middle there. Let's try that again.
Okay, let's give it a spin. Okay, I'm okay with this because the Nautilus is sort of off a little bit too. Uh, he's not a perfect circle, so thought and nature, so I think I'm okay with that. I'm gonna just clear off a little bit of paint from this. I don't want this coming off anymore. I'm gonna do a little bit of fix to that middle. I'm not sure what happened right there. If I dropped paint, I did something, we'll just say that, definitely did something that did not work right there. Okay, there is a lot of paint on this canvas. I'm going to torch it. I've seen a little bit of cells, but really not a lot, so that's a good thing. There might be some cells after I torch it, but I have to say it, it turned out Okay, I don't know. You let me know whether you think that this is a fail or you think of, you know, yeah, this is a pretty good attempt at it. Okay, I am going to do that again. I'm going to use the same colors, but I'm going to use the Liquitex White. I was thinking I was being a genius by using the house paint, but you know what? It wasn't very ingenious at all. So let me reload my colors and um, let's do it again. So rewind. Okay guys, we're gonna try this again. Same 12 by 12 canvas. I've etched it out in Prussian blue, as you can see here. I'm running low on my violet, so I mixed with the violet. I did have Prussian blue, just a little bit thinner, and I'm gonna try to use a lot less paint. I'm only gonna use probably eh, three quarters of the paint that I used last time. So and I'm not gonna use White House paint, I'm going to use uh, my white paint and I've got paint everywhere as you can see, but that's not going to stop us I've measured the middle again, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay down my base to keep it from going over I'm going to leave my center free so I can put some white in the center And I better go ahead and do that because if I don't I will forget and this is a lot thinner than the house paint, and the house paint was kind of sticky. Okay, that should be good. Let me grab this again. Stretch. Getting this spread out. I'm gonna try not to use quite as much paint this time. Because it just ends up going over the sides. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set my strainer. I've washed it off from the last time. And just set it right in there. I'm gonna go ahead and fill with my violet. Actually, that's almost enough to fill it again. Huh. I will say that all of my colors have a little bit of varnish in them. So there's Floetrol and varnish. There's a little bit of white in that purple. Let me get that out. The bubbles may be an issue, but we're gonna try this again. And you can see that's really come up in the bottom. So let's see, I hope my white is not too thin. Okay, a lot of white here now. And try to go really slow, really tight, and see what happens. A lot more white. Hopefully the white does not take over. I tried to use less paint and I don't think that happened. just a second and I'm not liking this one either anymore. 
getting get some pretty colors down here though. I'm always looking for skins. <laughs> if you've seen all my skins videos, you'll see how I'm always looking for skins. I'm gonna turn this down. Again, I'm seeing the paint pushing outward, which it should do, and I'm just gonna kind of wait for a minute, kind of at a standstill. So I'm probably gonna give it a spin. I'm gonna stop right here and I am going to torch this. A lot more bubbles, just to show you what happens if you have freshly mixed paint. You definitely have more bubbles. Okay, so here's this one. You can see all of the little bubbles. And I think the other one turned out better, but you can let me know. I guess it did not matter that I changed the white. It just ended up with more white in it. And um, I kind of like the other one better. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Which one do you like better? Thanks for watching. See you next time. When I make a bigger mess.